Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to the next episode of What's God Like? Today, we're going to learn another word to describe our wonderful God. So, are you ready? Here we go. What's God Like? God is love. Good morning, boys and girls. Look what I have here. Chocolate cake, my favourite. Do you know what I love about chocolate cake? Wherever you cut into it, you get a slice of chocolate cake. No part of it is lemon. No part carrot. No surprise broccoli or peas. Every part is yummy, yummy chocolate cake. It is totally and completely chocolate cake. Mm. 1 John chapter 4 verse 8 says, God is love. God is totally love. When we think of God, we should think of love. There is no part of God that isn't love. God can't do anything that isn't loving. He is completely and totally love. But how much love is that really? How much does God really love me? This much? Mm. This much? How about if I stretch out my arms from one side of a double-decker bus to the other? That much? The Bible says, as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. Imagine God's love filling that big space between the earth and the heavens. That's a lot of love. But how do we know God loves us? How has he shown his love? This is Jamie. He's my little boy and I love him a lot and I tell him lots that I love him but he doesn't yet understand. So the best way to let him know I love him is to show him I love him by giving him cuddles, giving him his favourite food and changing his smelly nappies. God doesn't just say he loves us but he has shown us he loves us. 1 John 4 verse 9 says... This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. God has shown us his love for us by sending his son Jesus to us. Jesus lived a life of loving those around him, even those who hated him. Jesus went to the cross to die instead of us. And Jesus rose again so we can be part of God's family. That is love. So if you've ever thought, then we can look to God and understand because God is love. And we can read about how much God loves us in the Bible. And we can look to Jesus who shows us God's love. Let's pray. Dear Father, Thank you that you are love. Thank you that you are completely loving and everything you do is because of your love. Thank you most of all for showing your love by sending Jesus into the world to die on the cross so we can have life. Thank you that we can be part of your family. Amen. And now we're going to sing a great song, a favourite of mine. Your love will last forever.
today. Well, just like my chocolate cake is totally chocolate cake, God is completely and totally love. And he doesn't just love us a little bit. He loves us as high as the heavens are above the earth. And he doesn't just say he loves us, but he has shown us he loves us by sending Jesus, his one and only son, to die on the cross so that we might have life and be part of God's family. Wow, that's a lot of love. We've got some questions for you now to look at in your families. You might want to pause the video. Now, boys and girls, it is time for Ellie's craft video. And this week, it is very exciting because it involves making biscuits. <gasps> Today, I'm going to teach you how to make some of these. These are stained glass cookies in the shape of a heart with a cross in the middle to remind us that God loves us and he showed us his love by sending Jesus to die on the cross for us. The first step is to preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Then add the softened butter to a bowl and mix in the sugar. Mix these until it's soft and creamy. Then add the egg and combine until a smooth mixture. Then add the flour, the baking powder, the cinnamon and the vanilla extract to the mix and stir until doughy. Then cover a chopping board in flour to stop the dough sticking to it. You also may want to coat the rolling pin in flour too. Then. Get some of the dough and roll it out until it is about a centimetre thick. For the next step, if you have a heart shaped cookie cutter, you might want to use it. But if not, you can ask your parents to use a knife like I'm doing here. You can peel off the excess dough around the sides of these and use them for future cookies. Then transfer these hearts onto your baking tray. Because this recipe makes between 20 and 30 cookies, you may need more than one tray. The next step is to cut out the cross shapes from the middle of all the cookies. Again, you might want to ask your parents to do this for you because it's quite fiddly and using a knife is dangerous. Once you've cut out the cross shape, you can use bashed up bits of boiled sweets to fill the hole. Depending on the size of the sweet and of the hole, you'll need about half a sweet's worth per cross. You can repeat this with all the other cookies. I've done them in different colours to add a bit of variation. Then, put them in the oven for about 15 minutes and when you take them out, be very careful because they're hot. Leave them on the tray to cool and then once they're cool, you can take them off the tray and eat them. If you don't have boiled sweets, you can always make them without the cross in the middle. They taste delicious anyway. Well, boys and girls, that's all from this week's episode of What's God Like? Join us again next week when we'll be finding out another thing about our wonderful God. I hope you have a good week. Bye!